Hey everybody, Seth Davis here for SI.com. I'm here to give you my previews of every conference heading into the 2013-14 college basketball season. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at the Big Ten. The Big Ten was relatively untouched by conference realignment. Maryland is going to come into the conference next year, but it's basically the same group that we've seen for a long time. And can you believe that it's been since the year 2000 that the Big Ten has crowned an NCAA champion? Will this year be the next one? My top team in the Big Ten is also my preseason number one in all of America, and that's the Michigan State Spartans. You know about Tom Izzo's record in the postseason. Well, his senior class needs to get to Dallas if they're going to keep the string going of every class under Tom Izzo playing in at least one Final Four. I really like their chances to do it, primarily because of one of those seniors, Adrian Payne, who came back, turned down the NBA dollars, and is back for another big season in East Lansing. The other key to Michigan State is the fact that they are healthy once again. Gary Harris, Travis Trice, and Brendan Dawson all had injury issues last year. They are all healthy, ready to go. I think Michigan State has the best combination of talent and experience, not only in the Big Ten, but in all of America. My player to watch in the Big Ten is LaQuinton Ross, the 6'8 junior forward from Ohio State. Had kind of a quiet sophomore season, averaged about nine points a game in 17 minutes, but he really came on in the NCAA tournament, scored 53 points over three games, including the big game-winning three-pointer against Arizona. I think that shot is gonna springboard Ross into a big junior season and really boost the Buckeyes in their road to the Final Four. My dark horse in the Big Ten is Purdue. Had a tough season last year. That's what happens when you have three freshmen in your starting lineup. Now Matt Painter is bringing four starters back from that team. I expect a big improvement from their seven-foot sophomore center, A.J. Hammonds. My biggest question about Purdue is how the new rules limiting physical play will affect what they do well. But if Painter can adjust and the players can adjust, I do believe the pieces are there to be a factor in the Big Ten Conference race. So that's my look at the Big Ten. It's going to be an exciting rough and tumble kind of season once again. Really excited for the 2013-14 college basketball season to get underway. I know that you are too. Keep it right here on SI.com all season long for all of your college hoops coverage.